Could someone open in prayer, please? Let us pray. Kind of loving Father, watch in heaven. We thank you for tonight. Lord, I ask you to be the lecturer and the student and the culture as we are about to learn. Forgive us your sin, give us knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, we are a pleasant good evening to you. Evening. Good evening. Um, it is, well, by my by my watch, it's 9.21 p.m. Mm. Dust is still uh, outside, it's still light, so, but it's almost 9.30 here, Atlantic Standard Time. 721 Jamaica time. Welcome formally to the child and adolescent therapy class for this evening and for the school year 2015, I'm sorry, 2014-2015. Um, welcome to everybody. We want to apologize for the, the uh, hiccups we had on Monday due to the technical difficulties, but we have managed to iron out and still are iron out as people get used to this Moodle, new Moodle platform. Uh, tonight what I want to do is to welcome all persons who are live and those persons who will be viewing by uh, YouTube and at this time I would like to introduce the, the syllabus and make some general class announcements. Um, but before I do that, are there any questions students want to ask me? I did send them an initial email this uh, this afternoon. Did you all get it? Unmute your mics, please. Yes, Dr. Ma. Yes, yes, Dr. Ma. Are there any questions coming from that email to me? Um, I prefer, I would wait until we go through the syllabus, Dr. Ma. Okay, all right. Yes, well, yes. people are anxious about the syllabus, and that's what we'll do at this time. Please ensure you have your syllabus in front of you. I'll be going through mine on screen. Um, now, the, this uh, this really this course is really a, a a practical course that deals with treatment. So, what needs to have happened is that students would have had to have done psychopathology, which which would have been offered last uh, November in my collection. So this is primarily a treatment course. We're taking, we're looking at various treatment approaches that you're going to apply to child psychopathology. Let me repeat, you're, you're, you're looking at various theoretical uh, treatment approaches and you're taking those approaches to dealing with child psychopathology. So therefore it is very, very essential that you would have done that course last uh, semester. Anyway, um, I bring you to, um, to the syllabus. Um, of course, you know that um, in terms of contacting me, there are several ways. The local number is, is, is the quickest way, which you know is in the, syl is in, is in the syllabus, it's, but it's 6549401 for students who need to be aware of that. It's a local number you don't have, if there's no long distance call or you can you can do Google Hangout or you can use Skype. Now let me go through um, the what the Moodle platform is. I know this is a very for some people who have not done Moodle, uh, it's one of the hello um, the, the syllabus. Um, who am I speaking with? You know that um, in terms of contacting me, there are several ways. The local number is 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 the quickest way. We should know is Hello, the is it video of it? Dr. Mark. Yes, Mark. It's, 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 it's recording. Hello. Dr. Mark. Uh -huh. Can everybody mute their mics? Uh, I'll mute, mic. mute, mute your mics, please. Wow. Well, I'm not in. certain why there's a feedback. <laughs> Patricia, you know to mute your mic? Hello? I'm trying. Oh, you're muted, man. Okay. <laughs> trying to mute it. Um, Marshall, can you mute your mic? Fine. And Nadia, mute your mic if you can see us and hear us. 
All right, continue, Dr. Mark. Yes, I, okay. um, apparently there, there was a feedback. Um, so what I'm saying is that uh, we are now discussing the syllabus, and I was saying that um, for this part, this course is very unique in that it's used by Moodle. Now, most of the assignments, because it's an online course, most of the assignments are going to be uploaded, or if not all of the assignments will be uploaded on Moodle, and there are deadline dates. You need to pay attention to your table of deadlines. I know the syllabus would have had some different dates, but but um, but the table of deadlines will tell you more about um, the, 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 the chats and the, the assignments that are due and also the, the, the um, deadlines for the, for the uh, other course material. But let me take the time to go through the syllabus very quickly for, for people if, and um, for people to entertain any questions. Now the course, now this course is going to have two halves. One, the first part of the, the, the syllabus is that we are going to be going over very briefly the DSM-5. The DSM-5, which is for those, um, as you are aware, the Diagnostic Statistical Manual, where we are going to be focusing a lot more on childhood disorders of the DSM-5. Um, for the second half of the, of the class, we'll be looking at treatment approaches that will, that will be applied to, to dealing with the psychopathologies of children and adolescents. And oh. so um, the, some of the... Some I of am the hearing a double up. I am, I'm not hearing anything. It's a double up, please. We are going to be going over very briefly. I'm sorry, somebody, is, is there a problem? Someone? Mr. Naomi, what's, what's going yes, on? Ruin the... Just yes? Focusing a lot. Okay, I'm still hearing feedback. What's the, what's what's happening? Um, uh, Nadia, could you mute your mic? Anything? Nadia, could you mute your mic, please? I'm gonna mute Nadia. So I'll mute the persons who are not thing. Just continue, Dr. Mark. Okay. Uh, what I'm saying is that some of the treatment approaches we'll be using is will be play therapy or will be Santre. Alderian, rational emotive therapy, transactional, these are these are formal treatment that you would have had had you taken advanced techniques in psychotherapy or family therapy for you to be able to work with children. Now, um, I'm not going to go through the course objectives, those, those, those stand for themselves, but however, what I want to comment on are the, the course text. Now, of course, most students, if not all, should have a copy of the DSM-5. DSM-5. You will be using that in this class along with what is known as the Child and Adolescent Treatment Planner. Now, a number of a couple, a couple of students had emailed or had expressed concerns about purchasing the books. Um, and I had said that I would uh, investigate. Apparently, they have since the the, um, the coming of the DSM-5, they they have changed the formats to having two separate uh, treatment panels: one for children and one for adolescents. However, um, I have looked at the the old copies. If you can purchase both, go ahead. But if you can get the, the old child and adolescent treatment panel, which, which is um, from 1996, by all means, do so. But you must be very, very careful to use DSM-5 diagnosis. You need to use DSM-5 diagnosis. Um, so these are the course texts that you can refer to. Occasionally, I'm going to be sending you a um, uh, materials over the on the Moodle platform because these books are very expensive and hard to purchase. What I would very strongly recommend though is that if you can purchase the um, play therapy 
or you can purchase the, the practice of child therapy, or you can purchase that at some point for your library. That would be great. But you're not required to purchase all these books for this, particularly for this class. You'll be provided with, with, uh, with material. So, are there any, can you unmute your, your, your mics? Are there any questions? Go the ahead. Play therapy um, that you just mentioned is the play therapy and the art of relationship. Is that the one? That's correct. That's right. Okay. It's and which other one you had mentioned? Uh, I beg your pardon? So the play therapy, the art of relationship, and the practice of child. Which one? Which other one you had mentioned? Practice of child therapy by Richard Morris and Cratchwell Thomas. R. Okay. Thomas Cratchwell. Very good book. I've used it. Okay. Um, it's an excellent book. You, you you need for that for your library. Okay. And the other one is by Landreth. Yes, I, I recommend very strongly that you purchase that book for your for future reference doing play with children. Okay. okay. So just to be clear, Dr. Mack, we can purchase the 1996 version of the of, of um, well, dollars. I, I really would um, if you want to, but what I'm saying to you is DSM for TR, as long as you recognize that. Right. Um I, I know but I do know that um the there are no I didn't even know myself, so I was a bit surprised. Um or we can really purchase, cool. or we can purchase them separately. I believe you should purchase. Them. I, if, I, if you can spend the fine money, I think you should purchase them separately because you'll use them for future references even beyond this class. And if okay. you can purchase them separately, do so. Even not uh, used, then do so. One use is the, the the adult adolescent uses forty eight dollars. Forty-eight bucks, uh, and the child is twenty-one at the lower end. Yeah, that's really not a lot of money, but um, but if you can, like I said before, I mean, because I know the the old, I have the old one is is has as a TSM for TR. And, and when I mean, would we be using this? It. When would we be using these, Doctor Ma? What do you mean when you when we be using them? Because I haven't purchased them yet, and we haven't purchased them yet. Okay, so we would need to. Well, you'll be know using them. Um, through the you'll be using them. Um, through, well, you'll be using them throughout the class, starting, and you'll be using them for your for your project for your for your um your uh, individual treatment plan project okay. or treatment paper project. So. Um, I know that there are a host, I know that the library has a whole host of treatment planners in the okay. library, if I recall, okay. but I believe that they're very old. Okay. And I believe that they may, so you may want to look and see what's in the library um, to, to avail yourself of that use also. So, so we have sorted out the books. You do need, by the way, you students do need that, that uh, publication manual of the APA. I'm going to stress on this very, very carefully because when you're writing APA, there are things in the APA that you must adhere to. Now, I know that in the last class there were concerns about what you were taught, but you need to follow what's in the APA manual. Um, I have availed myself of a copy. And so, and so one of the things that I find happening in that is that people are not using and utilizing the APS manual. The APA manual is very specific on how some things that are of documentation are to be done. You know, so for example, a common occurrence I saw last class, in the last class I had, is that people write anorexia nervosa, but then people didn't, you wrote one question or you wrote the answer, you, you wrote one concept, but then throughout the paper, Read, people are reading. Most journals don't have that. They don't have it. It's a formal standard. They're very strict. You have to write at some point, write out in each paragraph, at least a, a paragraph or three, what I remind the reader what you're reading, that I don't have to go up and, and find out again what is it you're talking about. So um, I know the manuals are very, very strict, so you do need to ha avail yourself of the DSM, uh, the, 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 the APA style writing manual, 6th edition. So I'm going to be very, very strict this time in terms of how people uh, or people source uh, research materials, how people source and how people record authors, titles, etc. As it relates, Dr. Mack, to the title page and so on, 
Um, yes. Are we on a, on, a, on a decision as to how that Okay, that I am going to have to go back through the manual. Um, uh, again, looking for that specifically, and I will get back with you in a, in a, in a couple of days where that's concerned. Okay, Dr. Lang. But, but not worried about that. Let's look at, basically, let's look at the, the terms of availing yourself of that uh, APA stamp, because you do need to have it. Because like I said before, um, most journals are very, very strict. They give you certain, there are certain dimensions that they return your journals. They won't print it. Very, very strict in terms of how they deal with APA style. So um, the, the much Hello? Because I think Dr. Mac has frozen. Bishop, what did you say? I didn't say anything. <laughs> Let's wait and see. Um, hopefully she'll pop back in. <laughs> Why do you think um. I said something, Victor? Victor, why do you think I said something? We're listening, weren't you? <laughs> Let's wait. Dr. Mac? She's still uh, frozen. Well, over there is cold, you know. <laughs> I don't know if it's cold, no. I don't know if it's cold, no. But. I but, it no, but well, over there is still cold and they're having snowstorm and all kind of things. Are you hearing me? Anybody hearing me? Oh. Yes, Pat, we're hearing you. Where are, yes, I'm yes, asking you the manual know. free online or what? Can you print it online or do we have to buy it? That, I, don't, um, I don't know. Sorry? Hello? Wait, Dr. Mac, we missed you for quite a bit. Yeah. Oh, my wait. goodness. Are you, back? Are you hearing me? No, no, we're hearing no. Now. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I thought you were... No, if you're not hearing, say so, because um, I don't oh, know what's happening. We can't. I am frozen as loud as I can. Uh, you froze. Hello? Hello? You froze. You froze. You froze. You froze. You froze. You froze. You weren't there. Are you seeing me? Yes, I'm. we are seeing now. Good thing is you see me having my glass of wine. <laughs> anyway. Oh, that's why you froze. <laughs> yes. <laughs> now she's gone. Um, did someone mention oh. wine or something? Victor. Victor. Oh, no. Victor. Uh, Victor. Victor. Yes, gone. Yeah, she's gone. She's gonna try and come back. I'm sure. Let's... Yeah, you oh. have to add her back. Um, she's gone. Michelle, in the meanwhile, what, what did Dr. Mark say we should definitely get? For our libraries? No, well, no, no, for, for the, the libraries. Class. For the course. Okay, of course, you know, the DSM-5, right. and then the AP publication, which you just mentioned, which is um, the sixth edition. Right. And then the, the, the child and adolescent psychother psychotherapy treatment plan. We're going to need that. Okay, but, but what happened is that when you go online, you actually see three types. You see the adult, you see the adolescent, different from the child. And then you see one that says both um, child and adolescent. But that one is 1996, which Dr. Max says has in the clearly the, 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 um, the DSM-4. But to use the one with the DSM-5, you have to buy them separately. I can't get up. I need my phone. And separately, the used version, as I had said, one is $48 and one is 21 And those having the DSM updates, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't ordered anything yet because I wanted to be sure from Dr. Mack what we right. should be doing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, um, nobody knows my question yet. Nobody answered me. <laughs> Which one is that, Pat? If I'm um, some, if if we. We, we have to go and buy this APA manual, or can we just print it from offline, or where is it? I don't know, you know, because I bought mine a long time ago for my writing class. Okay. We bought it online? You yeah, bought it online. Well, there, there are some copies of it, you know. Well, Dr. Bon Wesley, if you did a course with her, she would have posted it on... What was the name of the course again? Education and then something or another. Is the entire book though, actually? Um, I think it might no. just be a version that shows you how to do the cover page and to 
the referencing and so on. I don't think it was the entire book that shows oh. you how to oh. reference every little thing, like communication and editorials and such and such and such. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. well, I have a book for the writing class. I'm trying, I'm trying to get it back. Okay. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. I, hope, I hope you're not, you're not giving up to my opinion wine today. I was trying to get to you for, you, for you when you heard the wine, but you weren't paying me any man. No, you know. Because I know that is your favorite thing. <laughs> yes, come on, Victor. Victor, this is come what on, the book looks like. This is the, this is what the manual, the, the AP manual looks like. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But what edition? That's not the sixth though. We need the sixth. This is the sixth. Don't fresh with me. All okay. right. <laughs> Sorry, ma'am. <laughs> What's that, Victor? I said, you are not going to kill me with laughter. <laughs> but is you love the wine story, you know, it's not me. Um, please remember that the others are still watching you live on YouTube, so they are oh, seeing and hearing wrong. And this is being recorded. Thank you very much, Renee. The point of reason. <laughs> I don't. I'm, I'm I'm talking. Talking. I just want you to know that they are listening in and they are seeing and hearing everything. Why not? We are good. That, that, <laughs> that is the essence of the class. Okay. Oh, Kojo, where's Dr. Ma? Yeah, I sent an invitation for her to come back. I'm not Hi. seeing her. Thank you very much. I don't know if like gone in Canada too, but, but these things can happen. Every minute, like go away from me. That's why sometimes I'm in. I don't think light went away in Canada, Kojo. <laughs> that would make the America. news. That would make the news, America. and that made the news. <laughs> it would make the news. Uh, we uh, have too much hydro plant to have light of um um light going away. Um, Robert wants to know how long it takes to reach um, mission. I beg your pardon? Robert Barr wants to know how long your order takes to reach when you order the books. Oh my goodness. My order is the order that reaches to the place on Wednesday. So if I order it before the Wednesday of that week, I can get it the, the, either the Friday evening or the Monday of the following week. So in essence, to answer that question, it will be a week. Okay. If not order it, then it reaches to the um to, to the US address at the right time. But there's always Amazon. No, Amazon is where I order it through. But it has to leave from Amazon to go to where to my mail okay. my mailing address. Michelle, Michelle, after class yes, Victor? after class don't leave, there's something I want to ask you. Really okay. because I want to make some order. Okay. okay. Oh no, I'm not seeing Dr. Mark. I don't know what's happening. Oh goodness. I don't anybody ever so no one of you need to do do this for us. Take Let charge call and ca call her with the the, lo the local line that she gives you. Alright, let me call her. Okay. Maybe it's good start a chorus. I'm kidding. <laughs> you um, try to one, Kojo. Go ahead. Kojo, Kojo, is that case yeah. where you could pause the, the, the filming, the recording? It can't be paused. can't be paused. Oh. Okay. No, we... Uh. <laughs> All right. Um, I don't know. Where are the people... Um, your, your colleagues are watching on YouTube, you know, six of them. Okay. Any uh, message from Kojo? Them? Kojo, yeah. I have Dr. Mack. Talk to her. Oh, oh my God, talk to her. Yes, Dr. Mack. Hello? Yes. Are you hearing um, me? Yes. No, I'm not. Hold on, Dr. Mack. Hold on. Go ahead. Hello, Dr. Mack. Dr. Mack? Okay, where's the invite? She wants to know I where... 
Try to go on um, Google Plus. Tell her to go on Google Plus. He's hearing you. In the chat box, so let me go back to no, they can't stop the recording. They can't stop. Can't be stopped. Um, tell her to look at. I'm gonna. Oh, she's back. She's coming back. Okay. Hmm. Phew. Okay. Hello? Yes. Are, you, are you hearing me? Okay, yes. Yes, Dr. Mark, we are hearing okay. you. Yes, I'm sorry about that disconnection. Could someone remind, uh, I was talking about the discussion forum. Did you, do you want me to repeat what I said about the discussion forum? Hello? Yes, Dr. Mark. Yes, Dr. Mark. Yes, Dr. Hello? Hello. Hello. What I'm saying is that the discussion forum is a very important part of the of, of Moodle and the course, and it means that you are going to have to uh, do a lot of reading, and it is geared to, to for research, to exercise critical thinking, creativity, and for uh, for you also to it it also en enables you to be able to. Um, Engaging a lot more of uh, of of, of ex explaining concepts with with your fellow classmates. So it's more like a classroom forum that you will do. Um, it's worth twenty five percent of the grade. So students need to make certain that you post on time. So every week, the week one's post has already been opened. Are people getting me? Are people hearing me? Yes, Doctor Mac, we're hearing you. Yes. I'm not hearing the other students. Are you hearing me? Hello? Doctor Mac, yes, we are hearing you. You're on mute. Yes, we are hearing you. What I'm hearing saying you. is that, um, that, that there are going to be four major posts. So you some students will be posting eight times on the on the platform for four weeks. And so I clearly need to see that you have done some research. There is critical thinking, there is depth, and there is brevity, clarification, and that you are able to, to, to be able to critically uh, uh, tell me that you have read and you're understanding the concepts. And that, uh, so week one, for weeks one's post, there, are, there is no reading material for that. You are to just go read and tell me what you think Use all my, you, you can use any uh, any research material at your disposal, any classroom notes that have been posted on on, on the on the website, and the post. Um, I, I need a substantial post. A post of half a page is not going to cut it. You know, at a, at at this level, I need you to be able to do us. I didn't hear that. How many, words, how many words is substantial? Well, well, put it that way. I, I, I need something that is, I can't say how many words. I, I, I don't want to limit people. What so I'm what saying is that the post must be substantial enough to say that you have read. That's so what five, I'm, I'm clearly to see. Yes? 500 words, could be, 500 words could be substantial. I, well, what does 500, 500 words translate into? Two pages? Two pages. Uh, one page and a half? Two pages. Yes. That's what I'm expecting. If you write a half a page or a half a paragraph, I'm not going I'm going to mark it hard. One because page is two level, fifty words. Two pages would be about five. Okay, so two so five hundred is two hundred. So I'm not limit I'm not limiting you. You use your your discretion and your judgment. I'm not going to limit students. What I'm saying to you, I'm expecting the post to be substantial. That you have clearly read. Uh, also, also, let me just finish this. Also, there are you be, there are some videos that are going to be posted, and you are to integrate with the with the the readings that I'll give you. So I give, I send two videos for this week's post. Please integrate it. 
into your um into your first original post and your response. Okay, doctor. When I by the way, and the pre reflection paper is due on Sunday coming. Once I get it, I'm gonna start reading because it's it's 16 people and I have to read very fast and you'll be getting that feedback by private email. Okay, doctor. That's the only feedback you'll be getting. Okay. okay, so let me continue with the, quickly with the syllabus because I need to do some, a lecture. Um, I think Marshall, you wanted to ask a question about this. Go ahead, please. I'm sorry. I didn't hear her. Go ahead, Miss Spencer. Uh, go ahead. I, I, don't, I don't remember the question. I think she probably wanted to ask about references. References. Right, Marshall. Go ahead, Miss Spencer. What about references? If you were you. You you were you mentioned down that we need to incorporate the videos and the readings yes. that you would have posted, and uh, I'm thinking you're expecting us to reference those. Yes, ma'am. But look, look anything. What listen, about anything? anything yes. Go ahead. Go ahead. What about material that we may have read um, outside of that? That's what I'm saying to you. That you are that um, if you have read material outside the, po the discussion forum is a is a very free spirited exercise. It's a classroom. The only difference with a live classroom is that you are using ref you have access to references. So you want to staggerly with your with your with your brilliance that you that you know it that you know it, and so you need to let me know that you have read. And I, but because I know if you read, and I, I just know, I know students, I know students have read because um, I think I'm conversing with a lot of information out there in okay. my head. Here's the thing, though, Doctor Mac. Um, yes. And this is my concern. Whilst you oh, yeah. are conversant, whilst you are conversant with the information and so on, we are just learning. Uh -huh. And so when students get a little exuberant and write a lot of stuff for us to read and actually respond, can sometimes be somewhat of a challenge. And what so, do you mean? What do I mean? What do I mean? If I have to read 1900 words and then um, respond to that, that is somewhat of a challenge in a discussion forum. I don't know that that is how it really was. Well, I don't expect you to be over, overly. Uh, I mean, what I'm saying to you is that as long as you get the gist of the, resp your, the response to the, to, the, to the article or to the student's post, I should say, should clearly indicate that you understand. Do, do it this way. Respond to what you. This, this is how you could do it. Respond to what you, you, what you, what you have read. Do a critique if you think you disagree, or you agree, and say what you think. So and you you're not, not, and you're not expecting to be this to be as long as the original post. I'm no. not expecting that to be as long as the original post. Okay. No, but okay. I don't want two lines. I no, want certainly not. Certainly okay. not. Certainly not. I'll expect a, at least a, 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 at least a, a three quarter of a page, but I'm not expecting two. Uh, 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 I'm not expecting three lines or four lines. I'm expecting you to say, okay, this is what we are, because you're. We don't have a classroom that's live, and so we can't have this kind of dispirited uh, comments in a classroom. That's why the, the discussion form is there. It's rich in information that you learn. Okay. You're learning. Okay. All right. I will not be so. In other words, you are you are every week. So the so so for the first week we had a little hiccup with the with the technical difficulties. I gave people some slack. So on Thursday I expect the first post. Which Thursday? Tomorrow. Tomorrow, Doctor Matt. But students should have you students students should have been students should have been working on that post a long time ago. It was sent out. I saw no, it. No, Doctor Mark, it it could not. <laughs> Doctor Mark, that post went out when I today's what Wednesday. That mm -hmm. post probably would have gone out on Tuesday sometime, or um at least Monday night late. So Monday's out. Mr. So Nami, it just been Tuesday. Mr. Nami, we working on it Hello. long. When was that post? When was that post? Uh, when was that post uh, placed on the Moodle platform with the with the um, with the, the was it placed? Was it just recently placed on the on the platform? No, it wasn't. It was I pulled it down. The, I pulled it down on on Tuesday night when I got home. It was there from Tuesday. So I have to double check, but it was not. Um, I pull it down from Tuesday night. Yeah, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was the evening. 
What? All right, let's, let's not deal with the point right now and make a decision. When I'm it was not yesterday evening. It was yeah. it would have been either Monday um, evening or, or Tuesday morning. It was not yesterday evening. All right, let, let me... I saw let, yesterday evening, though. All right, let's not belabor the point, ladies and gentlemen. Let, let me, I, I'll think about it and we'll, we'll come back to that later. Some, someone remind me about that when I expect the post to be. Let me just continue going through the syllabus with you. That's, that's more important right now at this point. Um, so, so um, let, I'm looking for my, um, the coursework. Um, so the discussion forum, as I said before, you need a, an original and there is a, there is a, a response to the course. Um, there is, a, as I said, there's a pre-reflection paper are there any concerns or questions about the pre-reflection paper that you're supposed to be turning in on Sunday? Any questions? This is where you tell me uh, what is it that you want to learn about children in this class. And of course, there are guidelines in the paper that you need to use in the, that's in the paper itself. There are several things you need to do. But now I'm asking you, it's due, it says May 8th, but it's due on May 10th. Not Dr. Matt, go back to what you just said a while ago. You said that there are several things in the paper that we need to do. Or? There are several, there are several uh, instructions for you to fax. The paper acts... Um, I mean guidelines for the paper, yes. Yes. Okay. So you need to follow those guidelines, please. Okay, sure. Um, and, and it's pretty straightforward. I mean, I, I don't, I, I wouldn't, I, I would be surprised if somebody has a question about that. But, but if Actually, you do, I do, go ahead. Um, and the last question. point, the last point says, with all this in mind, which is all that somebody's phone is ringing. No. The, no. La the last point says, with all this in mind, what would it take for you to become an effective counselor with children and adolescents? Mm -hmm. And you have a, you have a, um, you have a reference there. When you say no, what no, no. would it? No, 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 no. When you said what would it take, I'm not so sure I understand what would it take. No, in other words, what it is, what is based upon your understanding of what you have learned about children, how are you going to use that, the skills that you would have gleaned now in your own personal life to be an effective counselor? Okay, because this really, is, this, really, this really would be based on our, our understanding of it thus far because we haven't started the courses yet. Yes, that's right. I'm not so expecting it. No, this is just based upon your understanding. So that's why it's a pre-reflection paper. What is it that you need based to learn all. about children? What do you think you need to learn? Do you think you learn a lot about children right now? No, that you can not the whole, no, 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 just this one point. Just this one point. It that's, says, with all of this in mind, mm -hmm. so all of what you would have written before, what yes. would it take for you to become an effective counselor Absolutely. with children and adolescents? In other words, no, you asked, a earlier, you asked a question earlier that says, what skill do you perceive as your personal competencies for working with children, adolescents, and why? Would the two questions be the same? No, then, no, no. Okay, what no. is the difference? What do you mean? I don't understand. I understand, fully, you, oh, I, understand fully what, I understand fully what skills do you perceive, and, and I'm fine with that. But mm -hmm. when it says, with all this in mind, which would have been all the other things that we have, we have written about, preschooling mm -hmm. and, and all of that. What what is, in other words, mean? what is your view of what is an effective counselor in respect to children? You have to tell me what you think. I don't know. Okay, so this, um, is, so this would be our view at this point in absolutely. time. Absolutely. It's your viewpoint. I don't know anything. Anything you think you, you know, what do you think? No, 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 just listen to what I'm asking. Just listen to what I'm asking. At this point in time, mm -hmm. what would it take for us? You're asking what is our view at this moment in time today when we yes. don't know anything because we're just learning the work. Yes. What would we see as, as, as what would we see as, a, what would we view as an effective counselor? as how an effective counselor would operate. Yes, yes. yes. Just, just try to, to give, me your, give me your viewpoint as it is now, raw. I just want to be clear, Dr. Mack, because I don't want, when we do it, you tell us that we, we should know X, Y, and Z when we don't know it yet. 
So I just want to be very clear. So this is our raw okay, this is Yeah, this is not, okay. I'm not expecting you to, this is, this is something that you're telling me, what you want to learn from it. You're, you're, you're applying your own developmental issues with, with children and understanding your own childhood to understanding and teenage to understanding children. Just just come prepared to answer the just talk about what you think in your own words. I mean this is not it's not an exercise where you're gonna have to do you can do research, you can bring whatever it is, but it's your own view right now. I wouldn't be doing any, it is. I wouldn't be doing any research on this, Dr. Maka. This is what you don't need to, it's your own personal about us. experience. Right. This is asking yes. about us, right. But I just wanted yeah. to be clear on All that right. point. So that we don't okay. have any misunderstandings. And if you, so, if people, Ma, yes, go ahead, if, go if ahead. Who am I speaking with? Partially, Doctor Mark. If we're not expected to do any yes. research on it, you're not expected that we. You're not expected to do any research on it, but you, what but you can, if you feel like you need to bring a point over, you could say, Freud said this, but you don't. You're not. You're not. You're not expected to. You're not. Ex I'm not expecting you at this point to do that. So if we don't reference anything, it's. Mm -hmm. Well, if you say if you if you quote something that well, well if you well if you well if you if you in if you um you're not expected to but if you do mention something that is a concept you probably need to you probably may need to uh, reference it. Okay. All right. Let's move on from that, and then we have the group project. Um, at this time, I have. Um, I have already put, I have four designated four, four senior students who I think are senior, and I've already selected the senior students who undertake the group project. So we, so I want you immediately to, um, to note students, please, who the four people are, the four leaders are, these are group leaders, they are senior and mature students. All of my children, I think, that's it. what's that? Seniority in terms of age, Dr. Mark? No, not in terms of age, in terms of the, the, the program and experience in, the, in, the, in, the, in the, um, having done, uh, you know, the, the, the previous class and... and um, okay, that's good. That's yeah. Good. One is, um, the first person is group one, and group one, mm -hmm. Eileen Osborne is the... Group leader, Eileen Osborne, and it comprises Victor Chiana. Please note, everybody, listen on YouTube and on the live chat. Eileen Osborne is a group leader. Two, Victor Chiana. Three, Hello Jean Hepman. And four, Sophie Mayer. That's group one. Group one and then group two, group leader, Michelle Ross Williams is the group leader. Two, Maxine Wilson Christie is in that group. Marlene. Marlene. What am I saying? I beg your pardon. Marlene. I think I'm my apologies. Marlene. Sorry about that. Marlene. Wilson Chris Wilson Christie is in that group. Three, Rene Mayer, and four, Latoya Cameron Hill is in that group. Three, group three, Marsha Lee Spencer is the leader. I'm not seeing it, Dr. Mark. <laughs> am I gone again? Oh, dear goodness, am I gone again? No. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm trying to read as I, I I'm, I'm sorry, you know, are you seeing me now? Yeah. No? Yes, okay. Dr. Mark, we're seeing you. I'm Hopefully, just saying yes. that I'm not a senior student. Well, okay. But that's okay. You're still a leader. Marshall Spencer. <laughs> Rowena Mitchell is in that group. Three, um, Rhonda Bedford. Four, Patricia McLean is in group three. Please make a note, everybody, in group three, your, your leader. Group four is Mr. Barr is in charge of this group, which is group four. One is Nadia Crawford is in group four. That 
and Seda McDonald and for Alice McIntosh. So if students, I will be sending the group leaders the information that they need to do to convert the group. Um, in the syllabus, there are several, because it's a project, what I want you to do is that the, the instructions are in the project itself for you to start now. The, the, in the, in the um, table of deadlines, I had designated one of the uh, group the presentations to be the 16th of July. Now let, I mean, that's group one. Uh, is that too early, ladies and gentlemen? The 16th of July. Uh, did I say July? Yes. Yeah. I, I have planned. No, 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 no. Um, the 16th of uh, May, my apologies. What? Dr. Mark. Hey, Dr. Mark is a Saturday. Where were Dr. Mark? <laughs> Today is too early, Dr. Mark. In addition to which, it's a Saturday. The 16th of May is a Saturday. I did say that we may have to have some uh, some classes on Saturdays. Not going to work for me, Dr. Mark. Rowena will be going to church. Oh, oh, okay. So we are going to have a problem with that then. Yeah. Um. And, so it and means that what it down. means you're going to have to have. Okay, we're going to have to. We're going to have some trouble. We're going to have some issues. Um. So again, I will have to determine when we can have that presentation with students because I don't want the groups interfering with the classroom yes, information. That's the problem. Mm -hmm. okay. and, and I have to rely very heavily on Kodrick, Mr. Nyame, who is the technical expertise, um, he's a technical expert with this. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. So group one, I will have to uh, get back with you on when we can start the, pro the, the group presentations. Mm -hmm. The other students, group two, um, I will have to get, I want you to consult the table of contents because the, the, the original dates were there. Look at the corresponding groups and let me know by email. Um, I know two groups, um, the 26th and the 23rd would have been for that presentation, but it looks like we are going to have run into some issues. So for the other students, or we can have the, the presentations um, during the class time, but we have to have, it has to be, we have to arrange so much that it doesn't interfere with class time. But I'll get back with you on that as soon as I can. Um, Dr. Mark. Yes. Quick question. Um, yes, I am looking yeah. for the timetable that you sent. I know you had sent it. And I had printed some stuff, but I didn't. Let me ask if I understand what you're saying. In that timetable, you have assigned the groups with the, with the, with the subject? Well, uh, well, yeah, we had, because of the part, we had had, um, we had had, Yes, we had done that. The, 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 the dates were already there on that table of deadlines. But did um, you also say what we would be doing? What, what? No, no, no. You have to tell me what, what subject matter you're doing. I, I, can't, I can't determine that. All right, so you'll give us you some guidelines to, then. If you look at the group project, it would explain on page, uh, just a eight, moment eight, here, page eight, 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 eight. it will tell you exactly what I expect you to do with it. I, okay. I, I don't want to go through that right now. And this but is I, it. I, I, and this is it. it. Just want to clear. Okay. To do. That's what I'm expecting you to, to do. And again, the same APA, may I reiterate very strongly, the same APA style of writing pertains to this. You need to exp uh, source very clearly where you got information from. So it tells you what I expect you to do. So please start now and start getting information until I give you instructions about the dates. Okay, so start now, please. All right. Now the last thing I um, is the tr the is gonna be the treatment plan. Now again, this is this is where you will be. Um, you will be take you'll take a disorder or you take take a case, and I want you to be able to write a treatment plan for that particular case. It's not something I'm giving you. You're gonna provide a treatment, get a case and that you need to be able to 
uh, write a treatment plan. That's why you need the treatment planner. And through the course of this, the, the, through the, throughout the class, I'm going to be teaching you how to do treatment plans. Okay. Okay? So you, you won't be left to, to, on the wide blue ocean. You will, you will be taught, I'll go through it, how to do a treatment plan and what, to, what I'm expecting it. But, but so you do need to take a childhood disorder from, from, the, from one of the, um, from the, 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 the syllabus, any childhood disorder, for example, language disorder, ADHD, specific learning disorders. And note that all these are DSM-5 disorders. They are all DSM-5. You take one and you you are able to determine give me examples of how you'll treat an attention a, a, per, a child or adolescent with attention deficit disorder or depression or anxiety and basically that is the that is what you, what the requirements are are there any right. questions and i have a question go ahead okay. Marshall, then I'll my, my question is dr Mark, is it that you're saying we should create the case or we can just Download a case from anywhere. Or I don't care where you download it from. As long as you are able to determine um, how you are going to work with this disorder, that's why I'm. That's why I'm very. I'm clearly reiterating. It is very, very important that you understand diagnosis. And so I'm going to spend a little time explaining, going back over the DSM briefly. To under how to deal with diagnosis and what you do to treat it. This time it's a treatment class, so we're more this in this class we're emphasizing treatment. All right, Dr. Mack. Um mm -hmm. I'm looking at three things here. I'm seeing an online group project, I'm seeing a practical applications, and I'm seeing an individual project. I'm hearing about a group, I'm hearing about treatment planning, and I'm hearing about cases. Now I need to be absolutely clear with each of these four. No. Okay. The online group project, it says here, each student will participate meaningfully in a learning group. Yes. And the group exists primarily for two functions, mm -hmm. for the group presentation and for case conceptualization, diagnosis, and treatment interventions. And yes. you have all of what you have there. Then you yes. have the group members will prepare presentations, so forth and so on. Yes. Then you have a practical application where you say, Students will also be required to meet in their assigned groups for practical application of in other theoretical words, in knowledge. I'll be giving you cases outside of the uh, for you to practice. But I want to understand, Dr. Maku, um, if the practical application is going mm -hmm. to form a part of what the, the things that you're going to give us to do, separate and apart from the, the individual project, which you just spoke about for the case study, the treatment planner. No, 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 hold on. No, no, you're getting a bit confused. This, I said a presentation that has to do, you're going to research a, a treatment intervention. A treatment intervention, so you're going to take a case and you're going to tell me a lot more about, the, uh, about how we're going to treat this case. Yes, Dr. Okay. Matt, what I want to know, is that the individual project or is that um, the no, classroom? No, hold on, hold on. You're, you're confusing the issue. That has nothing to do. The individual is a treatment plan. The, the group project is primarily to do a presentation on a treatment intervention. Very clear there. But because it's a treatment class, you need to do a lot of cases. So in your, sometimes I'm going to be, uh, sometimes what I'll do is that I will, I will, uh, students have to, what I will do is that I will be send, giving students cases, but I'm going to also give you a, a part, a, a, an official case for you to prepare and turn in in terms of practice. But generally, you would be getting cases that I'll probably giving you cases for you to do some practice on. It has nothing to do with the presentation. It has to do with just getting practice. Your role in the, in the, in the, um, your role in, uh, in, in the group presentation is to research a treatment intervention with a particular disorder. Okay. It doesn't matter. I don't care what you do with it. That's for you to tell tell me how can you treat this disorder? If you're gonna treat ADHD, what will you do to treat it? You're gonna use family therapy, you're gonna use play therapy, you're gonna use... that, Dr. Matt, but I just okay. want to be clear on the requirements okay. and what is expected of us. 
Um, and then the individual project now is a treatment plan project. Yes, a treatment plan that you need to create for you to tell me, okay, I, I, I know this is all, this is what I'm going to do to treat it in depth. Individually, not, not that you understand what you're doing because I have to group in terms of, I have to, in term, I have to make the, the class where people have individual and group. Okay, and you're going to teach us how to do all of these nice, wonderful treatment planning and case absolutely, analysis. Absolutely, and case, absolutely, okay. absolutely. So that's what is going to make up the class. Okay. Let not your heart be troubled, madam. Okay. Dr. Okay. Mark, I'm, okay. I'm not understanding the difference between the treatment intervention and the plan. What is the difference? Okay. An interve what do you think an intervention is? Who am I speaking with? Marshall what do you think a treatment intervention is? It's a treatment approach you use, reality therapy, rational emotive therapy, client center therapy, play therapy, fam that's a treatment approach that you're using to treat a disorder. A treatment plan, how am I going to implement this disorder? What am I, in other words, apart from, so, so the treatment plan is that I'm, it's going to tell me, okay, this person has ADHD, this person has depression, how am I going to have a treatment plan that I'm going to use to be able to deal with this person's uh, problem? What goals would I have? What objectives would I have? What's the problem? Is it clear? So, so, so then, Dr. Matt, the treatment intervention, say for instance you use um, 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 psychoanalysis, you're saying that in using the psychoanalysis, the plan that you're going to set out... Should have goals? Exactly. Johnny, will use this please symptoms of depression or Ma, just let me finish ask the question because I have a thought in my head and Go that's ahead. A, when right what I'm saying is that the treatment intervention that you just spoke of if you have if you say okay you're going to use psychoanalysis to as a treatment intervention mm -hmm. for the treatment planning now you're saying that you have decided that you're going to use psychoanalysis in doing the planning you would be planning around the psychoanalysis using the different steps and so on. Is that how it works? Yes, and, and, and have some goals. In other words, you, you're going to have some problems that you're going to be using. But how are you going to, how are you going to use psychoanalysis in terms of goals and objectives to solve it? And that is fine. That's all I wanted to understand, how they correlate. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, when I go to the treatment plan, you'll understand more clearly. Okay. All right. Are there any other? And of course, you know that the um, the the it does deal how well the grading this the the, the, the class um, it does talk about that. If I forget, I there is a folder in the library. We don't have anybody from abroad. Now we'll have an issue. There is a there is a child and adolescent therapy reading material. I left I left in the library. Okay. It has all the information that you can at your disposal for this class. Okay. It's there. So please ask, in fact, I'll email the library <clears throat> and I will let them know that, they, that, that those folders must be made available to you. You're not to remove anything, you're to just copy from it. It will help you with the class. Okay. It does give you information and put it together for, the, for, for previous class and so you will be able to benefit from that, from that reading materials. Okay, because we can't put everything online. But these are extra materials that you need for that. That deals with individual counseling, metaphor and psychotherapy, mental studies exam. So it gives you an idea about uh, the, the therapy, the, the therapy in children. Okay. Is it very clear now? Is it clear? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. If you have any questions. Please email or I'll repeat again when we have the next class. Let me just see if I can get in now um, the syllabus. Let's go to the syllabus. Let's, let's, start, let's, let's start the lecture about, I'll do some, not long, but I'll do at least touch on something. And um, I'll talk to Mr. Nama what we can do for the next lecture. Because no, this Dr. Mark, if you expect us to give in the, um, the discussion forum tomorrow, you only have about an hour. <laughs> to give us oh, time to go and, and prepare the, the, the discussion for um, you and I've, I've all and I had my glass of wine with woke me up. Dr. I don't think that wine went service so well this class, you know. Mm. <laughs>
All right. Um, let's 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 um, let's 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 continue. That would be it. So, so we are looking at Unit One A, History of Child Therapy. Now, you are aware, Mr. Nyami, are, are we being um, are we are we being taped? Hello, Mr. Nyami. Yes, we are. Been you taped? have been recorded. Oh. So everybody is aware of the, the fact of the, if we are looking at from the Christian perspective, we know that the, the, the children took a very great prominence in the Bible, especially the New Testament. Am I correct? Yes, you are. In what way, Miss Mitchell? In what way? Anybody can okay. answer. Oh, okay. Um. You're saying that um, children took prominence in the New Testament? Yes. Okay. They took some prominence in, in, the, in the Old Testament, but particularly in the New Testament. Um, where there, there, there was much more, a much more focus on the, the, the needs and rights of children. Yeah, I think Dr. Mark, if I yes. can, uh, where, where Jesus said to his disciples, allow little children to come unto me for this, uh, this church is uh, likened unto the kingdom of God. That's correct, yes. Anybody else? Um, children were seen as a blessing in the family because when yes. first could not have children, when first were barren, it was said that um, they were cursed. So it was a uh, joy and a blessing to have children in the family. Yes. Anybody else? Mm -hmm. um, I think children was used by Christ as a model um, of coming to Christ and and actually how adults should um, pattern themselves in order to make it into heaven. So yes. okay. in order to, to humble yourselves as children and uh, mm -hmm. send the little children to come unto me and that sort of thing. Dr. Matt. So they were used as models in terms of lessons that Christ taught. Um, examples for adults as to how they should behave. Yes. Um, um, well, like yes, the purity of children, okay. they, they mm -hmm. should have the purity and the, the humbleness of children. Mm -hmm. Adults should have. Any, anybody from listening from YouTube can send in, you feel free to send in any questions or any comments that we can include in the class, please. But so basically, you're you 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 you're both right. Um, you're all right. That I, I look at the the fact that um, the New Testament was very revolutionary. Where especially when Jesus um, was the was the most the model uh, caregiver. And in terms of looking at the, uh, the perspective of children, in terms of the, of, of, of the theological ramification, there are several issues. You can take some notes and can go back, or can go back to it later on. But in terms of understanding this class, uh, how to work with children for this class and for your future practice, that one, the, to understand children is to understand developmental psychology. Let me repeat. To understand children is to understand developmental psychology. To understand developmental psychology. And what do I mean by developmental psychology? Because we cannot do this class. We cannot 
uh, do work with children in terms of therapeutic approach without understanding their development. So developmental psychology is a systematic approach. Developmental psychology is a systematic approach to understand the cognitive, <clears throat> emotional, the cognitive, emotional, behavioral, behavioral, and the ecological and the ecological processes of how children cope, of how children cope, of how children function, they cope, function, and behave. And how they behave in several contexts. In several contexts. So what we'll be looking at is understanding, for example, we will look at risk factors in children. We have to look at some of the, what I call, some of the nuances of how children function or thrive in society. We look at what causes a child to develop psychopathology. So we're going to look at some of these nuances. And in understanding those nuances, we are going to be looking at what type of treatment will fit this child. So we, we're not treating children, we can't treat a child outside of context. We can't treat a child outside of, the, the child functions within a particular setting. So working with children is going to be contextual. that they live in a variety of settings called contextual factors. The home, school, society, peers, culture. We are going to be looking in terms of the same uh, a, a, a child development is looking at children in terms of the conceptual brain. You look at contextual, no conceptual. Well, what I mean by conceptual, I'm looking at what are some of the theories? What are some of the ideas? concerning children. What are, what are their makeup? Genetics, nature versus nurture. Are there any predisposing factors? Any precipitating factors within the environment that is impacting the child's behavior, for example? Any protective factors within the family setting that is important for the child to thrive and grow? So all this is developmental psychology we're looking at. And lastly, any perpetuating factors. Those 
those factors that continue that causes the child to be uh, to have to develop difficulties in their development. Those factors that cause the child to have difficulties in your development. So the theological perspective of children is important in that it talks about one, children are on a journey of growth, being and becoming. Let me repeat. They're on a journey of growth, being and becoming. So we're going to be looking in terms of the parallels of that. Bronfen Bonner's ecological model. Bronfen Bonner's ecological model. The act of being. So children, so so childhood and adolescence are growth, are periods of growth where the child is becoming, a, there's a framework for the child to become throughout the life cycle. And becoming means that they have reached a period of maturation. Unmute your mics, are there any questions? Are there any questions? None from me, Dr. Okay. Let me continue. Two. Dr. I'm not understanding how you move from theological to ecological. I, I no, 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 no. I'm, I'm saying that in looking at this, in terms of comparing the theological, I talked about this, the comparison of the theological perspective on child development. And now yeah. I'm looking and I'm and I'm not talking about some of the main the main facets of 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 um of looking at children in in, in making the comparison with the the with, with the theological perspective. Look at it in terms of, of how we, what we are going to be studying right now in this course. I'm making that comparison. And I said, they're, they're, well, I gave one, which was children are on a journey of growth, being and becoming. And I talked about some of the things about precipitating, predisposing, etc. So I'm going to say no. Yes? So what you're comparing theological with no is ecological. Well, this is well. Well, the matter of the the children on a growth of journey being is well. If you can look at it, anyway, it's 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 the ecological model. So you can have on on that the ecological model. We look at the theological model where we look at development of children, and so now we're looking at the ecological model where children are on a growth of being and becoming. Under that same ecological model, ladies and gentlemen, two. Hold on, Dr. Mark. I, I'm confused. You said, first you said theological perspective, and underneath that perspective, and underneath that you said children are on a journey of growth. No, no, no. no. What, I, yeah, what I'm saying was, and I should have made that clear, that the, the matter, what I said was what, that we look at the theological perspective and we looked at the matter of the, what, is, what is developmental Context psychology. Okay. okay. And we talked all that. We talked about context, so we talk about conceptual. Okay. I'm not looking at the ecological model. Okay. And so I should have made that. Tra I should have made that transition. I'm sorry. I should have made that. People got confused. So substitute really theological for ecological. That's correct. Under that. Under that, or substitute it, Dr. No, it's an eco. No, no, not substitute. Just put ecological model. That's what it, those points come under ecological model. So it's not theological again? No, ecological. My okay. apologies for that. I should have been clear. And all the ecological children now are... Children are growth, being, and becoming. 
And we talked about the precipitation factor, we talked about all that. What do you mean children are on a growth document? On a period of growth, on a journey of growth, being and becoming. On a journey, okay. Yes, yes, I said that. Children are on a journey of growth, being and, and becoming. In other words, we are looking at a process. So, 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 so childhood is a process. It's a process that leads on a journey on the, on the lifespan continuum into maturity. Is that clear? Is that clear, ladies and gentlemen? Uh -huh. Um, I guess so far now, Doctor. Hmm. Is someone okay. in the spirit, or the, are they having an issue? What What's the problem? Any questions, ladies and gentlemen? I need you to clarify so your understanding where I'm trying to. Any questions? The precipitating and predisposing, and so, Doctor. All, all those come under the ecology. That's what's no, that? no, no, so uh, okay, let me just tell you what you gave us. Mm -hmm. You gave us a psychological issue, and you yes. said one on the psychological issue is to understand children, is to understand developmental psychology. Then you went into developmental psychology, and you gave us a whole set of stuff. All under those that, come under the, the the theological perspective of children. All of what you okay. That's so correct. All of this is theological. That yes. What I said was, we looked at the ecological model now. What I'm That's saying to the ecological model. allow me to Let finish me the thought and not going to get it, you know. If you, if you don't allow me to finish the thought and not going to get it. Um, so the first thing is the theological model. Underneath mm -hmm. that, you, you mentioned developmental. And then mm -hmm. you spoke about the systematic and all of that. Then you mm -hmm. went into the contextual factors and you listed out that. Then it went into conceptual factors and you listed out all of that, precipitating, predisposing, and the rest of it. Mm -hmm. So we're finished now with developmental. I'm done with that. We're now on the ecological model. Okay. So right. what I'm going to be giving you now is the ecological model. And you gave and us I talked about Yes, and I talked about Bron Friend Brenner's ecological model. That's what it's, okay. That is what it's based on. Okay. All right, so, so follow me. So follow me. Okay. So, so if there are any questions, stop me and ask questions, okay? Are there any questions from, who is mixed up? Miss Hello, Jean, what is the, what, what, what's the question? Can she type or, or say what the question is? Mm. Mr. Nami, how can I post to the student and ask a question? I'm not, I'm not able to do that. How can I, how can I do that? I'm trying to send her. A, how do I do that? Are you seeing their question? Um, I don't even know. No, I, I can. Just, I just I, copy them and paste them inside there so you can see them. Please give an example of what comes under the spiritual model. Okay, you read that. Okay, you can read those. So I can read. Well, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to understand. Okay, ask her what she means. Okay, she, she's here, and you know she. So you have just asked her what she meant. But Michelle has helped to clarify already. I'm, I'm, I'm not understanding. Ask her if she still wants her to clarify the spiritual model. Mr. Yes, let's let's clarify. Go ahead. Okay. All right, let's 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 because uh, I'm, I'm apparently okay. What I'm saying is that the ecological model, the spiritual model, the theological perspective looks at uh, takes a very, in my view, a very holistic view of children, and it it, it sort of encompass the, the the all that we talked about before, but the ecological model takes the framework of the role of the child in the environment. The family is the most important mm -hmm. context in which a child is going to be uh, uh, nurtured. So when you look at ecology, you look at the family 
and the and the impact of the family on other areas of the child's culture. So society's role, the child's peers, how the child functions within the family is very, very important. How is that? How is that the case? Now I'm going to be talking about number two. That they will they are going to require nurture. Children will need nurture. Same under the same ecological model. Children will need nurture. And training. Modeling from adult caregivers. They require nurture, training, and modeling from adult caregivers. For healthy psychological functioning, for healthy psychological functioning and for stableness in your lives. And for what, Dr. And for stableness. I said, what, the last thing I said was psychological functioning and for stability in your lives. Sure. Now, now the now the still on the two. I'm not left. I'm not gone yet. I'm going to make a comment on that. That one of the things you what one of the things you you will see in your work with children is that children need predictability. They need predictability. Behaviors that are that continue that that are continuing to to uh, develop or contribute to develop to the continued development. So, so they need that kind of predictability. So a parent who gets into the habit of reading bedtime stories every night to the child, the child uh, that that's part of the nurture. A child also needs not only predictability but consistency. The child will also need consistency in behaviors. There must be, uh, and I said it again, but I repeat it again in honor, honor that, that there must be stableness in the home or in the environment. A child cannot function when, there's insta when there is instability. Children, especially, uh, you can write, continue to write, especially pre-operational and sensory motor children. Particularly sen pre-operational children that uh, from, uh, from 7 to 11 and sensory motor uh, from from zero to 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 about three, the child will need that kind of stableness. Okay, someone is asking a question. Uh, I'm not sure how developmental comes under the spiritual model. Uh, could you elaborate more what your question, please? I think Ms. Crawford is asking about how development
comes under the spiritual model? Could you elaborate more on what you mean by that for me to answer it, please? It's not very clear. The third factor I'm going to be, I'm continuing on the ecological model. The third factor is children need unconditional love. They need unconditional love. They need a safe place in which to develop. And to learn consequences. Let me repeat. The child needs a play, a safe place to develop and to learn consequences for their actions. So part of your work with children, let me reiterate, is that a lot of parents will come to you, my child is acting out, and they may say, I want you to be able to, in other words, what they're saying, I can't manage him. In other words, translation, I want you to fix him. It is where the child, in other words, your, your job as a potential child therapist is to ensure that the child has had the parents know that they have to have children need to learn consequences for their actions. They need to also not only have learned where they have learned consequences, the child needs to have a place where they belong. So there needs to be belongingness. Belongingness. Accept, acceptance. Acceptance. The environment needs to be a place I'm continuing, I'm continuing. The environment needs to be a place where there is forgiveness, forgiveness and understanding. Let me stop there for a little bit. Any questions? I'm still waiting for Miss Crawford to elaborate on what the question she wants to ask. I'm still waiting for that. Any, any questions so far, ladies and gentlemen? Are there any questions? Unmute your mics if there are any questions, please. Um, Dr. McNord, I was actually asking if you could give an example of what would come under the spiritual model. Okay, in terms of what? Because I said a lot, so I don't know in what relation, what she's talking, in, in, in terms of what, what's the connection? Because I said a lot. What is, what is it that she means? Um, I wish she could um, she could speak directly, but what is she she's asking? Is it that spiritual and theological, or this you're using the interchangeable bottom up? What's that? Are you using the term spiritual and theological? No, I'm looking at the no theological, which encompasses, which also subsumes, which the spiritual is 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 um, subsumed under. Because when we look at theology, we're looking at uh, the role of we're looking at the the, the role of how um, God intended for for children to function in this world. When we look at in terms of the, what God had intended for children to how children to function, but I'm still trying to understand what she, what she what 
what is the connection? Because I said a lot under that. What is it exactly that you she wants to elaborate on? I'm I'm not clear. Well, um, based on what we started, um, how we started with the biblical perspective, I believe mm -hmm. um, the the four. I'm uh, I'm ready, ready mm -hmm. Based on what we, what we started with, the biblical perspective of um, who a child is, mm -hmm. then we started um, going into the whole um, developmental. The developmental aspect of a child, but mm -hmm. I believe I'm not sure what Nadia wants. But looking at it, I, I'm thinking that it could be that she would like to see the link between the spiritual model um, as it relates to the development of the child. Well, I, I think that um, well, I use the theological model because I I, I, I believe that um, it encompasses. It's 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 probably okay. One, it's universal. So the, in terms of the theological model, we're looking at we we can only make a reference to G, to Jesus and because it's a, it's a Christian perspective. But if we were to look at it in terms of the the theological model, we're looking at that um, that children culture in culture plays a role. Culture plays a role in um, in in the, the theological ramification. Ramif um, ramifications of how children grow and thrive. So if we look at other societies, not just Jamaica or other parts of the world, that 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 um, that there is a general universal concept of uh, of children and the and the, and the roles in uh, in how how. So let's look at, for example, in. Um, the role of a child in let's look at the role of children in Islamic countries, for example. What do you think the role of a child is it in Islamic countries versus the role of children in Christian countries? What do you think? Um, it, it, let me put it. Let me let me put, put let me put words in your mouth. Is the role of a child different in a Jewish culture versus Islamic versus Jamaican or Caribbean culture? Is it different? Um, yes, Dr. Yes, Dr. Explain. Let's look at let's different. look at some issues. Let's look at some important facts. You see the role of children. We can argue. Would you say, and I may, let me have a discussion, and, and you probably understand what I mean by the theological ramifications. Is the role of a child being trained to be a killer to kill people and lead them and putting a gun to be, uh, to blow their brains out, the same as a child growing up in the Caribbean or growing up in North America? Or a child in growing up in, in Israel where there are bombs and and they have to deal with terrorists. Is it the same? No, it's not. Explain. Um, well, the culture for one. And, and um, what else? Parental training. Um, and what else? What 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 are the main what are the main threads of each society according? What is the difference? What is the underlying difference or the similar or the similar? Religion. Yeah. Religion. religion. Okay. So in other words, religion in terms of the theological, we're looking at how society tends to shape a child's behavior through religious precepts and belief systems. Do you getting my drift? Yes, sir. So you so so you look at I for example ISIS. I know ISIS trains people children to be uh, suicide bombers or or train them to be engaged in jihad. Is it the same as a child growing up in Jamaica or a child growing up in the Caribbean or other parts of the world? Is it the no, same? No, no. no What's no. the difference? What's the difference? Religion. Would you say that a child has pathology? Is a child in Israel 
who has to deal with bombs being, or, or um, rockets being thrown in Israel, or the child who has to deal with uh, people, hostages being beheaded in, in, in Islamic culture, or even Nigeria Boko Haram when the children are being kidnapped, or used for um, children being used as, um, for, as, um, as, as sex slaves. Are there, any, are there any differences or similarities in what I'm trying to underscore? You say that the would you say that in terms of the ecological model that those children can thrive and become who they should be? Explain. Let's see if we can get an argument about that. Okay. Um. What? I, don't you can know. I didn't hear you. You can emulate what they see in terms of what. It but their parents on the culture, what is, is the culture for Caribbean and and us? We believe in God and 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 and, and getting together and and I'm not killing. So so let's look at this this way. So what's the difference with a child in that culture? Do they have a do the child have a right in the in that particular culture? To yes, show in that culture. Yeah. So in other words, the, the, the rights are for the child to lead a, 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 a for the for um for in to in, the child has a right to engage in jihad by putting a bullet in somebody's head. Well, in, in our culture, what is their belief? It's not right, uh -huh. but in their culture, what they see everybody doing. Same theological premise. The same theological. The same theological premise. That children, you know, there's the conceptual issues and the contextual issues. What's the difference? What's the difference in terms of the theological ramifications? Does theology, does the role of religion and theology impact the behavior of children in a setting? Does it? So what you're learning about children now, do you think that, that the role, the theological ramification and the ecological ramifications will impact how a child will behave in society across every culture? That's what I want to think about. Definitely. In Most what definitely. way? In what way? As I said, they are emulating what they see their parents doing in the community, or they're just emulating. Are they teaching? Emulating, emulating what? Their parents, their community, their actions. The culture. So, they have, so do they have a right to commit murder? They, in our culture, no. But in their culture, they were taught that way, madam. Any other, okay, any other any other comments? Do you see where I'm getting at, ladies and gentlemen? No. I'm asked, huh? <clears throat> that in studying, in looking at, in, in, work, in, in beginning to work with children, we are looking at a wide, at a, a, a wide swath of cultural, religious, environmental variables that are going to impact the child's behavior. So, do can we argue? Can we argue that the children who are raised in Islamic countries, especially ISIS, the so-called caliphate, versus a child, children who are raised in Boko Haram in Nigeria, or a child who is who are raised in Israel that has to deal with a lot of terrorist activities versus a child who has been raised in, in the Caribbean. Can we look at, are there a range of pathology or are the pathologies the same? For you to think about, are all the pathologies the same? Are all the pathologies the same? Based on the comments that everybody has been making, Dr. Mack, it would, mm -hmm. would stand to reason that the pathologies are not the same. In what way? Explain. Again, because of culture, again, because of context, again, because of upbringing, again, because of nature, 
nurture, precipitating all of the factors that you would have um, you would have cited to us. A child that is in the Islamic country or a child that is grown up as a Hindu, as Nordia had posted not so long ago, mm -hmm. she mentioned yes, that, I saw that in India, right, in India where persons children get married young. It is what is taught to them when they are growing up. It's a part of their developmental, their lifespan. It's a part of their developmental cycle. And so how they develop in those countries would be different from how they are developed in, um, in, in the Caribbean. In Jamaica, we don't marry our four children at 10 and 12. So, so what's your role? I have to stop you. What will be your role? You're asking that question. What is going to be the role of a counselor in being sensitive or in terms of your own perceptions of what's right and wrong? in working with children in those cultures, if you were to deal with them, what that's would be a, your role? And that's from a theological perspective, or just Not generally? necessarily, but just generally. Oh, because you I raise the it. issue. Okay. I raise the issue of the theological implications okay. in terms of, of, of all those the precipitating in, in culture and religion, and I raise the matter of the ecological mud in my view, Okay. And to, to, for, for people to be able to look at, not just for the Caribbean perspective, because we live in a very, we live in a world that is, that to me uh, is, is, is becoming pluralistic. Well, that's the question you asked, though, Dr. Matt, so we're just responding to the different, the varying, um, mm. the varying cultures that they had put before us. So. What is pathology then? What is your, so why work with children? What's your, what are you going to be working with? Are you saying then, are we, are students all saying that you can't work with children necessarily from other Islamic countries or from Jewish that wasn't, culture? That wasn't the concern from, though, but no. That initially wasn't the concern, but I don't, I, I think for most of us to be no, but then they can't answer as well. But um, I, I think what we're trying to get at the, from the initial question was from the mm -hmm. theological perspective, but I think we might have mushroomed into another place. Um, but for me, that particular question that you just asked, we would have to recognize that they are from a different culture, and if they happen into our culture, we just have to understand what what obtains in their culture and counsel from that perspective. That's right. What do you mean, counsel? What do you mean? I'm not hearing the other students. Um, anybody else? What do you mean? In other words, I'm raising the issue of the, 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 the matter of the, the, the theological ramifications is it's very universal, not necessarily to be Caribbean. It's very universal because the aim is that you have to be able to look you're, you're, you're starting from the specific into the global. Are all children the same in any culture? Do they have the same behaviors in any culture? What makes them distinct? What makes a child have in pathology? When you look at the theological perspective versus the ecological, what makes a child have pathology for you to treat it? What are you going to be treating in, in children in, in, in any context? Well, um, first I believe that we need to know what is the norm of that society or that culture. Because um, in order for something to be um, pathological, it has to be a deviant from the the, the norm of uh, that culture. So yes. in order to treat the child, you will have to know um, the norms of the society and what yes. is expected from the child at each of the developmental stage in that yes. culture, in that environment. Mm -hmm. And then we have to to know how to. To, to, to move forward in how to treat that issue or child in light of the, 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 what that culture dictates as um, right or wrong as it relates to the child's development. So, so, so basically, um, there are no, the, the, the matter of looking at the theological, it's not a matter of trying to uh, make it reduce to to matter of right and wrong. The issue is introducing the topic in a way, moving from the general to the specific. That when working with children, you have to understand 
basically the religious cultural ramifications of the child that you're treating. So basically what, what I'm understanding people to say is that um, a Caribbean child will be socialized differently from a child who lives in an Islamic country. Am I correct? Yes. yes. Sir. Is that clear, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah. So basically yeah. you'll be looking at you, you you will pathology is going to be culturally based. Am I are, are you are you understanding what I'm saying to you? Pathology is rooted in in in, in, in theological ramifications and how people conceive their, 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 their themselves within the universe. How does God fit into this? There is a person... There's something going on. Yes, I hear it too. Hello? Hello? I'm still hearing it. Okay. I'm, I'm saying, I'm saying that I'm, I'm bringing this out for you to be able to move outside of the box. That you, whatever the child you'll see, you're going to be seeing. You are going to have to move out, have what is known as a, as a very, as a, a very broad-based view of, of, of the universe. That a child who comes to you is going to be based upon they're going to be having, they're going to, they, they, there is, they're going to be um raised in a set that is cultural, they're going to have some uh, religious impact, and they're gonna, it, it, it's going to have uh, very widespread uh, cultural implications. So it is to get you to think outside of the box that when you work with a child, you are going to be looking at all these issues. So you may not necessarily work with a child within the, just within the Caribbean. You may be working with other children. Uh, children, Muslim children, you will be working with Jewish children or working with American Indians so that you are, you are aware that there is a common thread even within the culture itself, even though you may not agree with it or you may not be socializing that culture, but there, there is a common thread in that we, even within that culture that there are three things that will persist. One is that there has to be consistency in the behavior. Two, there has to be predictability. And three, there has to be stableness. Is it clear? Um, here's, a, here's a problem I'm having, Dr. Mack. We start mm -hmm. at and we kind of end up somewhere else. I'm not even so quite sure what it is that we're answering. I hear what you're saying and I understand this but you ask particular questions, and I am sure we gave you the answer. But it mm -hmm. might not have been the whole answer. But we want to know if what we had said would be in any way, shape, or form a part of that particular answer. And what else is it that you? What is that noise? And and going forward, what? And, and going forward, Dr. Mack, what else would you want to be added to that? Because what Renee said was what each of us was saying, so I'm not quite sure where the difference is, but I understand there's all no of the difference. There, no, no, hold on. There's, there's really no difference in what people say. The aim is, is just, it's more, it was more like a dialogue, it's more like a discourse in, in understanding that, in, in, in other words, using this, it's, it's, it's almost like moving from as i said from the from the general to the specific and the gist of it is mm -hmm. that you you need to be and listen very clearly everybody that you need, in working with children you have to take these two major in my view these two major areas the theological which has the implicate that i talked about and the ecological that oh. that religion and culture play a very great role in how a child behaves within a context. That's all I'm saying. It took a long time to get to this point, but it's to get you to think about that and try to get you to move out of the box. That that when you're working with a child, you have to think about the religious aspect of the religious aspect, because I talked about the biblical themes, but then I start of moving from that. And I sort of move from, and I made a. It's almost like a circle. So I move from the biblical to the theological. Then I move from the theological to the conceptual. And we talked about 
not only the conceptual, we talked about the contextual, we talked about the ecological, where we have the role of the family and how the child in that context. So when we're looking at, when we're talking about with children, there is no right or wrong answer. It's for you to be able to understand that when you work with a child or a teenager, that's what you're getting. So it's not to get you to, okay, I'm going to be working with children in the Caribbean context. It's, it's for you to have an ability to work with any child in a context, but be mindful of the cultural, religious, philosophical ramifications of our culture and how you will be, and how you'll work with the child and how you'll be treating the child. Knowing that there's one, there, there's one common thread that in any culture you go, whether it be in Nigeria, in Islamic countries, Jewish, Caribbean, there are three threads in the child. That the child must have predictable behavior, the child must have stable behavior, and, the, and, and, and that there must be consistency. Is it very clear? Is it clear? Is it clear? Yes, Dr. Mark. Ladies and gentlemen, is it clear? Yes, Dr. Mark. Not, there's no right or wrong. We can, this, is, this is something that is to get you to be able to think, be out, out of the box. Is it clear, ladies and gentlemen? Unmute your mic. Yes, Dr. Mark. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. That's what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get, because you see, you have to. You're, you're in a world that is very that is very diverse, and if you said child, you cannot make assumptions. You cannot make assumptions. What's that? Hello. What's that? What's that? All right. It's um. Let's let me um. Let me do this quickly, and then we're gonna wrap up, and we're gonna stop. But let me talk briefly about um the history of child and adolescent therapy. History. Let's talk a bit briefly about history. History. <clears throat> now, the, now, the history of childhood uh, of child treatment goes back a century, only a century. The history of child treatment goes back only a, a century. So it's not, so there has not been, it's not as defined or elaborated than adults. It only goes back a century. The first history of uh, child development, the f I mean not development, the first history of child treatment, I'm sorry, was, was based upon the mentally retarded, the mentally retardation. So that's where it started from, childhood history on mental retardation. The first recorded uh, treatment was in the 18th century. The first recorded treatment was in the 18th century. And it can be tra tra traced to Jean Lard. J E A N Jean, a Frenchman, Jean Lard, L A R D, Jean Lard. So he, so the first, so it, so it, so it took place in France, in France. Where he, where Lard was the first practitioner to treat mental retardation in a child.
Edward Sequin. Edward Sequin followed Lard in the 19th century. And he also was concerned about the nature. Edward Sequin was concerned about the nature, cause, and how to treat mental retardation. So note for the for, for the for the for the uh, initial treatment phase that mental retardation was the primary treatment modality for children. So so the, the so the first record was in Europe, in France. Now Sequin also went to the United States. Sequin took his work, or Sequin, he is a Frenchman, took his work to the North America, United States, where he was instrumental. And this is very, very, not very, this is important because you will notice in Jamaica there are child guidance clinics. You know, do you, you, do you see that? Unmute your mics. The child guidance clinics in Jamaica and the Caribbean. Yes, ma'am, we know about it. Yes, yes. So he, um, so he was instrumental in building residential schools in the state of Massachusetts in the in the nineteen in eighteen forty eight. So he built a residential school for children in the 19th century and later the early 20th century in 1951 in, in New York. The, the early 20th century was also very, very pivotal because the, there was the rise of the mental hygiene movement. Now the mental hygiene movement was, 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 was uh, there was a movement in the United States based upon, uh, is there a question from someone? Mental, what was the word? Yes, Dr. Mark. Is there a question? Um, what is the first, what was the first child treatment? It was from Norvia. Okay, um, I'm, I'm trying to figure where she is. Where she is. Um, I'm saying the first treatment was in uh, France by, Ed, by Jean Lard in the 18th century. I think the question was, what was it? Basically, he, he was he treated mental uh, um, he treated children who had mental retardation. So I was saying that um, in the in the early twentieth century, the the role of the mental hygiene movement came about, and the mental hygiene the mental hygiene movement was a, was a, was a movement where there was a, 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 it was a response to how mentally ill people were treated. So it was a, it, they were sensitive to people who were mentally ill, mostly adults, but the, 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 the role of children and treating children was, was, um, was a part of this, of this, of this, of this paradigm shift. Clifford Beers was the one who started this mental hygiene movement. Clifford Beers was responsible for this. Under that same movement, 
the establishment of child guidance clinics originated in the United States of America. The development of child guidance clinics originated in the United States of America. Any questions so far? This is pure, this is mostly history. Um, any questions so far on what I have given you in terms of history? Are there any questions? No questions. So, so in terms of history, that that um, I talked about the establishment of child guidance clinics. Um, note that they were part of general cl psychological clinics established by Leitner Whitmer of the University of Penn Pennsylvania. That the child guidance clinics were part of general psychological clinics started by Littner Whitmer of the University of Pennsylvania. Repeat that again for me, Dr. Matt. The child guidance clinics were a part the child, of the... I'm sorry. The child guidance clinics mm -hmm. was initially part of the general psychological clinics and this was established by a man known as Littner Whitmer of the University of Pennsylvania. Can you spell that? For who? Which one? The name. You mean Littner Whitmer? Whitmer? The one. Yes, this one. L I G H T N E R. Littner Whitmer. Very famous historical figure in, in um, child psychology. And so he founded, he also founded. And he's University of Guidance. Pennsylvania? Pennsylvania, yes. Okay. The move, so the, so the founding of the clinics also coincided with the, with the mental hygiene movement. So the, so the child guidance clinics also coincided with the mental hygiene movement where Clifford Bears published a book, where Clifford Bears published a book on a mind that found itself. The book is called A Mind That Found Itself. And this book, this book, I'm just explain what the book talked about. The book basically gave a synopsis of people's experience in the men in the state hospitals in the United States. Along with the child guidance clinics, another another important uh, another there's another important milestone in that the National Committee for Mental Hygiene was founded. The National Committee for Mental Hygiene was founded by Adult Mayer and William James. Not a very two very important figures in the child and adult literature. Adolf Mayer and William James, very important. So their role in child therapy
was to prom was more for promoting and sensitizing the public, promoting, sensitizing the public to better treatment methods, to better treatment methods and to sponsor research and to sponsor research on the prevention and treatment of mental illness. Are there any questions? So, are there any questions? Are there any questions? Any questions so far? Um, Dr. Mark, what was the last line? Sponsor research on mental treatment? No. Uh, uh, on the prevention and treatment okay. of mental illness. Okay. Mental illness. I'm asking, are there any questions so far? I'm just giving you the history. What I'm going to do is that I'm going to have Mr. I'm going to send this uh, and upload this on the system. We don't need to go through history, much more, much history. But it's to give you an idea of how the child, move, uh, the work of ch uh, how far we have come in terms of treating children. So I'm going to be um, putting this history on the on the um, on the Moodle platform. Is 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 that clear? Is that clear? Yes, yes, it is. Yes, yes, yes. So I won't be labeling history anymore. Um, all right, it's it's almost eleven thirty by my watch. Um, we do have. Let me look at my. Just give me a bear with me to look at what we, what we have. So I looked at. Uh, <coughs> we looked at briefly on child, which I'll send. Um, I don't want to touch on risk factors tonight. I am going to now. Th this is a question we need to ask, uh, Mr. Nyame. We have a, we have run into a problem whereby students are saying that they are not able to do it on a Saturday. Is there anything else we can do with this? Uh, I don't know uh, what we're going to be doing at all because uh, we have missed one. We have missed one hour of of the lecture with a late start and um, it's almost 11.30 by my watch for me. It's going to be hard for me um, but I I may be able to I have to sacrifice next Wednesday then. I don't know if we can. Um, well what it may mean that is that we need to have uh, meet twice for next week to make to, to, to because I don't want to I don't want to be behind this, in this lecture but there's a lot to cover. The main things we're going to be looking at uh, um, risk uh, as per the syllabus, risk factors, what children at risk, looking at that, we're going to look at risk factors and child, I'm going to be going over the DSM with these students because I need to, there are some people who have not had the DSM and they are at a considerable disadvantage and I need to, and we need to review for people who have, who, um, so we, we, are, we are going to need to meet. Um, Dr. Um, Mac as it relates mm -hmm. to the DSM, there are persons on there who might not have been in your class, but would have been acquainted with the DSM five. So I don't think it is as laborious as you might think it could turn out to be. Well, well, that may be true, but at the same time, I'm I'm still thinking that we may need to do a little review because we have much more time to focus more on children and to talk about um, the DSM five and. Um, Work, especially working on the, the 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 dealing with the diagnosis of 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 just going through the especially the, with the developmental disorders, and and um, talking about uh, diagnosis as, as it relates to treatment. But we need to get from now um, how how much when we will we meet that I can make plans for myself also. We know definitely Monday, that's a given, but are people able to meet on Wednesday? 
Not every Wednesday, though, Dr. Marcus. We have no, 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 no. I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying, I'm saying. We, we um normally we need to. We we this is a very this the the matter of um the class. We have to go by the syllabus, but at least to get this this um we won't meet every Wednesday. We can't. We just don't have the time. But we'll try and do the best we can to make up this class, and 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 we'll be caught up. But um, but I don't want to touch on this tonight. I think we need to to give some time to go through the risk factors of of children in introducing the topic of treatment. I need to go to touch on some more on um <clears throat> on psychopathology. So, um, Kojo said Wednesday. So Monday, but it's Monday, the regular, the regular class, and Wednesday. So tw twice next week. So what would you do? Next week. Yeah, I'll send an email to remind people as to what. So um, what, may what I ask you to come a little? What would happen that? with the, what would happen with the discussion posting? Because Dr. Mike, the truth is, those are the days when we used to we used to prepare ourselves for the posting on the Thursday. So if you're going to be having a class on Wednesday, which is going to take up all night, um, when it may, it may, it may or may, it, well, hold on, it may or may not, it may, well, it may or may not, um, unless we start and we'll be prepared to go an extra half an hour over the time for Monday. But we'll see what happens. Let, let's, let's not, let's not. So you're not prepared to move it, the discussion placement from the first, is what you're saying? No, it's normally it, no. Um, what I'm saying is that um, we have to look at. I'm concerned about this week right now that we need the first post in. So um, tomorrow is tomorrow is Thursday. Um, what I will do, ladies and gentlemen, because students should be partially finished with that pre-reflection paper. What I'm prepared to do is that we'll move it from Thursday to Friday. Okay. So the first post I expect on Friday, um, and I'm going to I'm going to expect the, the, the re response. Listen carefully, please. I'm going to move the post. This is only for, for for the first week. The post will be due on Friday of this week. The first post. The second post is on Monday coming. Am I clear? You mean the response is on Monday. Mm -hmm. Yes, am I Dr. very clear? To, am I clear? Yes, no, the, Dr. Resp Dr. the response Dr. is on Monday. I, no, no, no. I said, listen carefully, please. I said, for this week only, I will move the post, the first post, or the first original post, to Friday of this week. The the post, the um, the original, the the the. the, the Post for week the res, the response is on Monday coming. Am I clear? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Yes, no, Doctor. Thank you, sir. So I but please be prepared that the week of the, the we don't want to the week two the week two the week two post um will probably have to be on Thursday of next week. That's week two. So we'll open it up. I'll talk to Mr. Nyam and we'll open up for the for for the questions. But for this week only, in other words, we need to be we need to be consistent. All right. Doctor, how long will the how long will the Wednesday class with the, um Doctor? Mark? I don't know. I I really don't know. I don't know. I have to talk to Mr. Nyam and let you know. I can't well, tell you. Well, for sure, it can't go over three hours because we. I no, it cannot. I will not go over three hours. Posting. So it can't go over three hours. That's for sure. <laughs> Misha, <I> just wait. <laughs> Sorry, Dr. Matt, I right. up, but, um, was out for a minute. I'm not sure. I bought her. So, could you just I, you I said um, for week one, that is just for this week because of all the problems you're having with logging on. And I will extend the post, the first post for week one, or Friday of this week. Friday is what? Friday is the ninth? Is that it? I think I'm a bit, maybe my mental status exam is, um, is off. Friday um, the 8th. Eight. Oh, Friday the 8th. Oh, the beggy part, the 8th. 
and the the post the, the the response to that post is due on Monday. That is going to not that's not going to be the law of the meeting. It's just for that week. Okay. So the second week we are going to go back to normal. So um, I'm going to be speaking to Mr. Naomi about open up week two that you're aware of the postings. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I, I also expect that the paper is due on Sunday. That's not going to change. Turn it in. There will be no extensions on that, on that paper. You have had from, from the 30th to do that paper. So turn in the paper. Um, what paper? But what paper? Are the reflection paper. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Um, I think we're going to conclude this evening. Yes, I think so. And um, I, I think yeah, because I'm, I am, I am, I way past my bedtime. Um, but I'm going to be going through the risk factors, and I'm going to be going through the risk factors as it relates to diagnosis and treatment, and I'm going to be going through briefly on the DSM-5 and the childhood disorders and its relevance to treatment. That's what I want to focus on, on on Monday, and we'll see what goes for Wednesday. All right? Any other questions before we break, ladies and gentlemen? Any other question? No, not from me. No, Dr. Matt. At no. least we need to release you so that you go and rest. Not from me either. No. Have a nice That's day. Okay. <laughs> Not right now. I'm too wound up to sleep. Um what what um so what what so if you, what you need to do, I suggest that you go through the syllabus and um make certain that you, you understand the, the requirements. If, and if there are any questions, please raise them again in by email or raise them in the class on Monday. Yes, um, and I strongly recommend um, I let students know when the next when the class when the presentation will be one that people have that people have some time to to um, start with the preparations. Okay, so group one. Group one, the I think the leader is um, Miss Osborne. Is she is she on YouTube? Yes, is she, on yes. is she yes, here? She Tell her that she's, she's still. I here. need her to. I need her to um to email or give a call if we can talk about what dates. We need to have for that. So I'll send to people um, the dates for the group as soon as I can. Okay. Um, Dr. Mackey had mentioned something about some some um, guidelines for the groups. Oh yes, I will be sent. You, you know what? Let me make a note because um, I need to write down these things because I forget. Um, the I will send you. I will send you. Um, what I'll be doing is that the leaders, I will send you um, documentation how to how to how to um, evaluate your members. Make certain that you're student. If if you feel that people have have equally uh, contributed to the group, feel free to to um, mark as you see fit. If they think, it, if they think, for example, they deserve a five instead of a fifteen or whatever, then say so. But the aim is for people to contribute to the group presentation. I know people have had some concerns, but that is how we learn in groups. We have to have a balance, group and individual, in a balance. So um, I'll be sending that information on the group members. I mean, the group leaders rather, by on a separate cover, and. Um, also clarifying again with you as to what I expect in the presentations. But so go back over the group presentations, read it. If you have any concerns, let me know. Any other questions before we break? Yeah. 
Any other questions? Hopefully we're here to, I, I suggest that we, we, um, we come on a little early because I, I think to give time for um, any hiccups. So we may need to move from 6.30 to 6 o'clock. I don't, I think it's not, um, it's not working when we, we're so late. I know people have to come home from work, but it's, it's probably, I don't know. I'm, 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 what do you think? Normally 6 o'clock is the class. Normally 6 o'clock is the class, but um, so people may have to start a little bit early that we can get some things in because we started 45 minutes late, so we, I lost a lot of time trying to get on. Mm -hmm. That's the problem. Yeah. That's my problem. So we may, and I talked to Mr. Niamh about that, we may have to get back to 6 o'clock. We may have to do I, that. I, what do I, you suspect think? It will get, I suspect it will get better because I would want everybody who has issues tonight to contact me in the week and let's iron out what, how they um, can, can connect. So that will make it better. All right. So hopefully then, well, well, with that well, coming from the from the from the administrator, then we will we will try our best. But the aim is that um, the concern was we lost. I lost almost an hour. So it has to be made up some way somehow. Um, when we get to Monday, we'll decide whether or not we we'll have the, the class. But I pref I think I need to. And um, I will get, as I said, I'll get back with per, uh, with persons, um, with the group leaders, in terms of what's ex the dates that they can start working on, especially group one, start working on the, the presentations. Are there any other questions? Mm -hmm. no. Tonight is a tonight is a trial and error run, but it will get, as he said, it will get better. Mm -hmm. Any questions? None from me. Okay, so it looks like people are no questions. Mm -hmm. um, so you, you so you expect to get a second email from me um, re recapping what was discussed this evening that you're on the same page. Mm -hmm. On the same page. So by so on Sunday. Once I start, or by Monday I will upload, I will download the papers and start reading that, um, that I, we can because it's a, it's a big class and I have to start reading as soon as I can. Um, I want to suggest also, um, Mr. Nyame, I know the, 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 the first lecture we had last year, is it still available for the students to listen to? Yes, it is. I suggest, I will suggest that you listen to that for that lecture in 2014, the first lecture we I did with the other students, a smaller class. I I invited you to listen to that lecture, also. Okay. Um, Dr. Mark. Yes, Mr. What, what I'll do What I'll do is as I, as I had suggested, I'll put it in a resource area. Yes. Others, if you choose, if you want, along with the others that you, unless you want me to do it at one at a time. I could put in a resource area the lecture that was done before and they can use as a resource just to um as additional information. Yes. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it was a pleasure. I, I apologize for the hiccups and um trying to get things sorted out. Uh, I think it will get a little better as you know, but at least we made it tonight. So I hope you uh, uh I hope you have a good night rest. And uh, good morning. <laughs> okay, Dr. Max. So Monday at six o'clock. Um, I don't know, Mr. Mr. Niam, you think six thirty will work? I don't want just to be late again. I mean, let's let, let, let make it for six. So that we iron out the hiccups and then and then we start. Okay, all right. So what time? I'm I'm not certain. Six, what time? They come for six. Come they for six. six uh, is everybody saying six o'clock? No problem. Um, yeah, well, that's yeah. fine for me, Doctor. Yeah, because at least we can start early and we can get as much as we can in. All right, then, Doctor Mark. Thank you. 
Bye. Night. Bye.